the commitment what top level people have done right to the organization exactly the same commitment a middle level managers or the people who are there in middle level should also give many of them they feel that the hr manager did not notice the effort which we have done in the past the people who really wants to apply for a job they will never apply in that company where employee turnover is more hello everybody a warm welcome to one and all i'm abhilash chandra from vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence welcome to all the students for the unit 5 here in this unit you will be getting a 10 marks question and a 2 marks question you will not get a 15 marks question this is what you are supposed to understand in this unit we going to learn about two concept that is employee engagement and psychological contract when we understand these terms called as employee engagement what exactly this employee engagement is all about so if i need to give an introduction about employee engagement i always tell my students that is if you really want to work right only then you are supposed to go and join any organization but if you want people to work then you are supposed to be a employer so what exactly it is this is the engagement power of how will you motivate your employees to work better efficient and this is how you are supposed to understand fw taylor that is frederick wilslow taylor he said in a scientific management saying that development of each and every employee to his or her greatest efficiency how will you achieve this efficiency it is through employee engagement so here what happens is employee engagement is a workplace approach what type of approach is it it's a workplace approach what exactly it does it results in something employee approach resulting in the right conditions for all members you are supposed to give a good ambience right a good environment for your employees so that they can work really good so this is a hr approach and here what happens all members of an organization to give their best each day every day if we give our best the greatest efficiency what a man can actually achieve or work he should give everything to it then what exactly going to happen that is the organization slowly with a sustainable growth it will develop something called as the greatest efficiency management so that's why we are supposed to give employee engagement here now employee engagement is based on trust the first thing is what trust integrity a two way commitment that is employer commitment as well as employee commitment see here when we understand employee engagement what happens is we have the top level middle level supervisory so here this is the top level then we have middle level supervisory level and it keeps on going because it's all depends on the nature and size of any organization so the commitment what top level people have done right to the organization exactly the same commitment a middle level managers or the people who are there in middle level should also give reason here is if we all work together only then we can see that glory to achieve that glory what happens is the middle level should also take the same kind of work from the supervisory level that is the commitment should be the same and supervisory to the next level so here what happens is the more and more you are giving employee engagement what happens is each and everybody can do their best can get their best from others that is the reason we are supposed to go with employee engagement so what is the meaning of employee engagement i told you it is a hr concept right so employee engagement is a human resource concept that describes the level of enthusiasm how much they really want to work how much they really want to grow how much they really give the efforts to do something so that is the level of enthusiasm and dedication worker feels towards their job see you would have seen or you would have heard that 
there are people who are considered as the employee of the year employee of the month employee of the week employee of a day right you could have also seen or heard that this person who came to this company for a year now he is in singapore he is in germany he is in us he is in uk the reason is the employers they check regularly that who are the people who really work with lot of enthusiasm and there is something called the career development so the, those employees will get something called career opportunity where the employer will send them with promotion to these described places like usa germany singapore those places now what happens to other people they also feel that if i also show that engagement if i also show that dedication even the employer gonna do the same thing to me so let me also give my 100% let me tell you here students gonna those days where we used to give only 100% now is the era where you are supposed to give more than 100% say 200 to 300% so whoever gives more that person goes and he deserves a better package than the person who don't so engaged employees care about their work so who are those engaged employees you see especially i have seen in the private sector there are all these top level people are there right they feel that it is only that they are working and nobody else is working it's only because of them all the problems are solved but to be very honest with you what is the vice versa it is the middle level and the supervisor level who work everything right they are the people who are always up front and they do the action but the credit is taken by the top level management so we can't help that but what exactly here it is say engaged employee care about their work and about the performance of the company and feel that their efforts make a difference that is what the engaged employee feels and that is how you people should be you are working in an organization you are working in a company you are working in an industry the industry need to think that it's only because of you everything the managerial functions are going smoothly so like that you are supposed to work types of en employee engagement now here when we go over the types there are three types first thing is actively engaged now here the person is working really hard with a smart approach where he or she whoever are working they feel that their effort is valued and they are always active next is not engaged now they are getting the payment that's the reason they are working that is how they are actively disengaged now these are the people who will also make something called as uh, an environment where people are always disagreed so these are the people who gives the negatives of the entire company so they are called the actively disengaged so what is actively engaged actively engaged employees are passionate about what they do and their role and fully committed they are like i really want to work because whatever i do the company will do something to me so that is what the actively engaged people are they are committed to the company's mission as well as they are also committed to the vision of the company after 5 years after 10 years after 15 years so they feel that they are the part of the company these are the people who bring a positive attitude that can trickle down into the other department so from the top it will goes to the middle from the middle it will go to the lower or the supervisory level next is non engaged now most employees i have seen in so many organization have gone to so many companies for the hr recruitment now whenever i see that there are a lot of people who are already in the organization earlier they were actively engaged when i recruited them in different companies they felt and they showed that enthusiasm but after day in day out what happens is there employee engagement comes down the detroting engagement it is the reason there are a lot of factors which defines why the actively engaged person now has become the not engaged it's all because of factors like it can be salary it can be respect it can be the promotion which 
he or she did not get it it is the top management who has who are not judging who is actually the active engaged and who is not but so all these are the factors but please do understand most employees fall into the middle ground for levels of engagement what exactly it is like many of them they feel that the hr manager did not notice the effort which we have done in the past they also feel that the freshers are given more chance than the people who are working in the organization for 10 to 15 years so here what happens is they put in their time and fulfill their job responsibility but they are more neutral about the company now the other people like you give them some work they'll definitely work but they are not passionate about it they don't see the vision of the mission of the company they feel that i need to work they're gonna pay me i'll go home that is how they'll be so they are called that not engaged to them work may just be a paycheck and they need to see a reason to become more involved and spend an extra effort beyond the job description so people need to motivate see this is the biggest role for hr managers that is they need to check who are the not engaged and convert those not engaged into actively engaged the next thing is actively disengaged now these are the people who spread that negativity that negative vibes is more in the organization and who are those people earlier they were actively engaged they were not considered they became not engaged and later they were least bothered so that not engaged became what that is actively disengaged so while actively disengaged employees are usually the outliers they can have a big impact on team dynamics so in any kind of a team if those people are there they will definitely create a problem these employees are negative and uh, reasonful about the company and are often under performers they are not performers they are what under performers so these are the people who go with negativity in the team as well as in the organization so as a hr you're not supposed to fire those people let me just tell you they're also your employees you are supposed to mold them you should motivate them and make them actively engaged that is the biggest task see retaining your employee is very best possible way to have your employees because again you are supposed to go for recruitment selection training development apart from that these people are there right you motivate them you go with their performance appraisal you make sure that they work for the company right not just because of the paycheck so then what happens is these are the people who will definitely do something for the benefit of the company and their efficiency level will definitely increase now drivers of engagement what are the drivers who will actually boost this employee engagement the first is meaningful work so give your employees not just work you are supposed to give them meaningful work where there is something called a meaning career growth see without a career growth nobody will get actively engaged right you need to tell them that after a year you'll be assistant manager after three years you'll be a manager after five years you will be in the board of directors what happens is the person will be actively engaged empowerment so you are supposed to always make sure that your employees are empowered whether it is a male or a female whether it is a person who is senior or junior you are supposed to give them the empowerment belonging you should always tell them they are really the people whom the top level management or the organization is looking forward recognition you see everybody right me you and everybody whoever are watching this video if you're not recognized by people what usually we do is we don't go to those places isn't it now, if you go to a marriage function those people have come to your home and they have invited you that's the reason you have gone to that marriage function when you go to the marriage function and nobody recognizes you nobody comes and talks to you nobody know who you are right and the hospitality is not shown properly what will you do is you don't feel like going to any marriage functions so that is why even in the company and the organization if recognition is not there if people are not 
giving you that uh, status. Now you don't feel like I should work in this organization. The same way here, leadership. See, everybody, whoever in the 19th century, they were there. They used to tell that leaders are born. But let me tell you, the late 20th century and the 21st century has seen that leaders are made. So you need to just give opportunity to anybody. Any Tom and Dick Harry can actually be a leader if you give them opportunity, give them responsibility because each and everybody wants to prove that that they can do very good administration as well as management. The last one is fulfilling work relations. Now here when we go with relationships, please do understand. Employee engagement is all about what? Getting the work done efficiently. And to get that work efficiently, all these things you are supposed to make sure that your employees know about it. So if there is no proper relationship between the employer and the employee, even after giving everything, the employee doesn't feel like working. So that should be what? A proper fulfilling the work relationship. Next is factors influencing employee engagement. What are the factors? Now here I've given organization culture. See, this is the very biggest factor in which influence the employee engagement. Now, the culture of employee and the culture of the employer, right? Please do understand this. The organizational culture is always what? Rigid, right? It is more of rigid. Now, rigidity is more. Now, when you go with this organization culture, if you are little flexible on few norms, few conditions, few time, what happens is employees feel that it's just because of me, the organization has changed its working culture, working pattern. So they feel really good, right? This is the biggest factor which influences them. The second is industry. The third is job function. And the fourth is career path. Each and everything, it describes its own uniqueness here. Whenever you need to understand anybody, you are supposed to be a little flexible and easy with that person. So these are the factors which will definitely influence in the employee engagement. Benefits of employee engagement, what will happen if there is a very good atmosphere given to the employee so that each and everybody are working really good, passionate. You are thinking about their career growth. You are thinking about their uh, health and safety, you are thinking about their performance appraisal, what will happen? What is the benefit for the organization as well as the employees? The first is it increases productivity. Why? Because each and every person, they also get to know that the management, the organization is doing so much for us. So what is that we are supposed to do? We are supposed to also work really good, efficiently. So it increases productivity. Second is improves retention rate. See, I told you, right? Employee turnover should never happen. If employee turnover is more in any organization or a company, the people who really want to apply for a job, they will never apply in that company where employee turnover is more. Increases revenue. See, when productivity is more, what will happen? The revenue will also increase. Happy employees, that is the happier customer. See, when the employees are happy, only then they can make the other customers also happy, isn't it? Say, there is a company called Maruti Suzuki. Now, Maruti Suzuki is known for what? It, for its mileage, for its uh, better accessories, for its uh, comfortable service centers, right? So here, if the Maruti Suzuki outlet, any of the outlet in India, if you go with it, the employees are not happy with the management, right? The employees are not happy with the management, if I'm just telling you. When I go and I want to buy a car, the employee who's not happy with the management, he'll come and he'll not talk to me the way he should talk to me. He'll tell, okay, these are the varieties of uh, car, whichever you want, you just tell me. So what will happen is the customers who have come, they'll not be happy because of the service which he is giving it. But instead, what is that we're going to tell is, it's not about that employee who spoke to us like that. We always say that Maruti Suzuki service is not good. The customer handling people are not good. So we say Maruti Suzuki has a victim, right? So this is what you are supposed to understand. If your employees are happy, definitely your customers will also be happy. Next is lowers absenteeism. Now, when the culture is good, when environment is good, when people are really good, nobody feels 
to take a leave. Why will the people take a leave? One is a sick leave that is will be there. Even if they are happy, they are not happy. They need to take sick leaves. But there are few people who would feel that I don't want to go to this organization. Everybody, whoever goes with this Monday concept, right? Saturday, Sunday, they'll be in a off and then Monday they are supposed to go to the organization. If you are the person who feels that Monday, I should take a one more leave. That means you are not actively engaged. You are not engaged. So you are supposed to be like what? The more culture and the organization environment is good, nobody will take leaves. Makes them loyal. See, the, this is the one thing which you need to understand. Employee engagement is to bring loyalty among the employees. If there is no proper employee engagement, loyalty will not be there. Next is the last topic for the day that is psychological contract. In your syllabus, psychological contract is just a two marks question where you are supposed to only go with the meaning or definition of psychological contract. See, when I say contract, what happens? There should be two parties, isn't it? They need to mutually come for an agreement and then they will go for a contract. But here, please do understand. There are two parties. One is the employer, another is the employee. Now, it is a mutual unwritten form. It is not in a written form. It is oral form. It is a commitment through the emotions. So, psychological contracts are defined by the relationship between an employer and employee where there are unwritten mutual expectations for each side. What employer wants? Good performance. What employee wants? Healthy and fair salary. So this is what the mutual contract between those two parties which is unwritten. A uh, psychological contract is rather defined as a philosophy. It is just a philosophy but not a formula or devised plan. If you write this you will get two marks. So psychological contract is all about what? Two parties. One is employer, another is employee. And they mutually, they go with one kind of a contract where employer is benefited because of employee and employee is also benefited because of employee. So any doubt regarding this chapter, please do call us. We are always there to help you. Thank you so much. I'll see you when I see you. Thank you.